In today's video, we're checking out this Gibson SG Special loaded with two P90 pickups in this beautiful pale and blue color. Now, just to let you know, this guitar's on loan from my local music shop, Sky Music. They're not paying me to make this video, nor do I get to keep this guitar. This guitar goes back tomorrow, and it's absolutely beautiful, and here's how it sounds. Welcome back folks, this is Shane. You're listening to this beautiful looking Gibson SG in what they call Palom Blue. Let's take a look. Now the first thing I noticed when I picked this up was it was nice and light. So this isn't anywhere near as heavy as a Les Paul if you're new to SG guitars. Being that they're quite a thin body, you're not gonna have that inherent problem. One thing that you'll have to take note of though is these do neck dive a little bit, but I gotta tell you, once you get the guitar strap on, I don't have that issue with it. The main reason why someone would wanna buy this SG over one of their others in fact, we get P90 pickups, which just have a lot of attitude. And I really believe that P90 pickups clean up better than basically every other pickup out there. You turn down and they clean up beautifully and still retain the chime. Super cool. We get a wraparound tailpiece here instead of the regular tunematic bridge. Now, I actually really like these. I just think it looks cool as well. But if you like to pick beyond this bridge pickup, you don't have a lot of space in here. Some people like to get that sort of real clangy sound. Just a heads up, yeah, you do sacrifice a little bit of space where this would normally be back further and then you have the tunematic bridge in the center. So it may change certain people's picking style or whatever, but overall, man, super cool. Here's the headstock up close. Gibson have gone with their Gibson vintage style tuners. When it comes to the fretboard, as you can see, we get binding all the way along it on both sides. And I just think that adds a really nice touch to a guitar that would be very, very blue otherwise. So. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this color. Let me know what you think of it. Now, when it comes to the neck, we also get what they call a slim taper profile. So it's kind of 60s in its vibe, not too fat at all. I think it'll suit most people. First of all, a massive thank you to Sky Music here in Melbourne, Australia. Now, full disclosure, I'm allowed to borrow whatever I want from the shop, and then I have to take it back. It'd be great to be able to stockpile guitars, but that's not how this works. So thank you to them for the loan of this. Epiphone or Sky Music have no input into my reviews. So all the thoughts about this will be my own and I'll give you my thoughts about it at the end because I've got a few things to mention, both pros and cons. So it's a beautiful guitar overall and I think you'll love the tones. If you live overseas, I'll leave some Toman and Sweetwater affiliate links down there so you can see how much it is in your part of the world. But let's make some noise. Here we go.
All right, let's kick it off today. We're going to start with some dirty tones and we'll get to the cleans and I'll timestamp that in the description below so you can skip ahead. Today I'm plugged into the Blues Deluxe Reissue Amplifier on the clean channel and I'm going to be running the Royal Flush Dual Overdrive on the lower gain stage to begin with. We're also going to try some higher gain tones as well. Anyway, let's give this a shot. This bridge pickup, rocking this bridge P90, man. Have a listen to this. <laughs> that really stinging tone and one of the best things about P90s is you turn down and it cleans up beautifully. So that's super dynamic, volume at about halfway you get the bluesy sound. A little bit more. And all the way up. All right, over to neck. Man, after playing the P90s in the Epiphone Casino, this just feels so much better with a bit of drive. So obviously it would, being that it's a solid body guitar, but yeah, sounds great on the neck pickup. This is with the volume control down at about half. There's the blues tone just by using the volume control and all the way back up. And now over to both pickups. So the toggle switch is in the center and this is with the neck volume control just down a hair. Here we go. And now with both at maximum. As you can hear, just rolling it back a hair cleans up the sound drastically in terms of the bass response. But overall, both is pretty usable. And now over to some clean tones, starting on the neck pickup with the volume at about half. The reason I've got it at half is these are pretty high output pickups and it will clip the amp on the clean channel where I've got the volume set. So we're at about half, here we go. Beautiful, now with it all the way up. Oh, nice. <laughs> Both pickups. Uh, that sounds great. Over to bridge. Volume down. Definitely takes the edge off and also drastically lowers the volume, obviously. And now, bridge pick up with the tone control on a little bit. Let's go for the woman tone. 
I'm tipping this will do it. So both sides of the Royal Flush. If you like the woman tone, <laughs> you can get the woman tone. Thanks for watching, folks. My name's Shane. A massive thank you to Sky Music for the loan of this guitar. It is really, really beautiful. Now, I did a live unboxing of this guitar, and a few people mentioned that they've either got this or they're thinking about buying one. So, super cool. If you live in Australia, links to the Sky Music will be below. If you live overseas, I'll leave some affiliate links to Toman and Sweetwater down there, and you can see how much it is in your part of the world. I would have no hesitations recommending this with one caveat. For me at least, with the stock strings, the tuning reliability has been horrible. <laughs> but I think it's just because the strings are brand new. It's come out of the box, I can't expect too much with it. It just happens from time to time, but it's worth mentioning. So thinking about picking one of these up and you have a chance to play it, stretch the strings out, do the right thing at the start, you shouldn't have as many problems as I did. But overall, the feel in the hand is great. You know, the more I play an SG, the more familiar I'm getting with them. But I always have to still think, oh, where am I again? just because inherently it, the neck joins the body in a very strange spot. But if you like high access and playing up high, I can highly recommend this. And if you saw my video on the Epiphone Casino, the pickups in this are far, far better. It's not even close for higher gain stuff. Now, if you're playing clean, you want that jazzy tone, both can do it well, but the casino might be more up the alley. If you missed that video, I'll link it up here. Thanks again for watching. Catch you soon. See ya.